yeah, 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 exactly. This one's uh, this one's broken, isn't it? Uh, we'll get uh, a little better next week. Mm -hmm. It'll take a few days. I mean, look what's coming. Here's satellite and radar. Some storms and showers off to the west. Even where we are now, it looks dry on radar. You get big picture and you think, okay, there's not much going on here, but a lot of low lying clouds have pushed just enough moisture in for this light drizzle and mist. I mean, just get it over with rain and be done with it, but that's not the case with this system. It's just sticking around. So we zoom in closer. Some of the radar returns that are closer to the actual radar beam there in Sterling are being picked up because they're closer to the radar. That beam gets higher and higher the farther away you are from the source, so it's shooting over a lot of the showers we have here. Tonight, showers stick with us, about a 30% aerial coverage. Temperatures stay warmer, readings near 70 by morning. That'll set us up for a warmer day tomorrow, upper 70s. Scattered showers in place, winds out of the south at 6 miles per hour. Uh, it'll stay active here through Friday into the weekend. A lot of that's tied to what happens with Helene. Let me time out the next couple of days, then we'll look at the tropics. By 11 p.m., scattered showers work their way in. Again, light mist and drizzle still with us this entire time. Into Thursday, a little bit of a break, but as we go through the second half of the day, that mist and drizzle still with us through 6 p.m., about 24 hours from now, into the evening hours, scattered light rain, and then into Friday morning. Here comes the bulk of the rain. Uh, and some of that could be from some moisture from Helene as it makes landfall. And I know it's really far away, but the system is huge. There it is spinning away. That's the remnants of John in the Pacific. 85 miles per hour in the latest track, which was just updated as we zoom into the Big Bend area of Florida. Strengthen this to a Category 4 hurricane before it lifts north into the west. So again, still pretty far away, but into Friday, we could get some of the outer rain bands from this system in our area. A lot of details to be ironed out on that one. We'll have to see how much it's impacted by landfall. But again, latest update by uh, 2 p.m. tomorrow could be up to a category four. Huge impacts for the Gulf and uh, particularly Florida. Your seven day forecast in the week ahead sticks with showers next couple of days and even a small chance into Sunday. What was looking a little more dry uh, now changing a bit because of the influence of that tropical moisture to the south. We'll keep a close eye on every model run that comes in, but it could be several days before we get a break. I think showers stick around to the Tuesday morning before gradually tapering off. Wednesday looks dry, partly cloudy, mid 70s. Best I got, Kelly.